Today I'm going to show you homemade yogurt under a microscope. First I'm going to have to make some. If you want to see what it looks like right away, feel free to skip to here in the video. I'll have to pasteurize this milk first at a very low heat until it reaches a temperature of 180 degrees Fahrenheit or 82 degrees Celsius for about 15 seconds. Heating it too hot and too fast can cause the milk to get clunky and ruin it. This milk is already pasteurized before it goes to the store, but it's always good to be safe when making yogurt so any unwanted bacteria doesn't form. Once the temperature is reached, you wait for it to go back down to 115 degrees Fahrenheit, then add the culture. I got these starter cultures online, but I've heard you can also use other yogurts that contain live cultures. After the culture is stirred up well, I pour them into small jars with lids and put them into an incubator that stays at around 110 degrees Fahrenheit for around 8 hours. During this time, the bacteria will ferment the milk and begin the yogurt making process. Once the milk looks like it's a solid mass, it's time to take it out and let it rest for 2 hours at room temperature and then let it refrigerate for at least another 6 hours. After that, it's ready to eat and we can now take a look at it up close under a microscope. A yogurt starter will consist of a blend of different strains of bacteria that consume lactose and make lactic acid. This one here contains multiple lactobacillus strains, streptococcus thermophilus, and bifidobacterium. The bacteria's job is to convert the sugar in milk called lactose into lactic acid, decreasing the pH and causing the milk proteins to bind together, which is a process called coagulation. Coagulation is extremely important in yogurt making and can affect how thick or creamy a yogurt is, along with determining how tangy or sour it will be. Right away at 100 to 200 times magnification using phase contrast, I can already see some of the bacteria or probiotics, which are the little black strands of debris you see floating around the slide. Zooming in further, you can start to see more detail on the different strains and tell them apart. The lactobacillus strains are the rod shapes, and the streptococcus thermophilus look like a long chain of individual spheres. The bifidobacterium is a non-modal species that should look like deformed rods stuck together and branches out in somewhat of a Y shape, but it was hard to spot. Here you can see one of the bacillus strains in the process of binary fission, which is how most bacteria reproduce. I also took a look at one of the freeze-dried starter cultures by itself to see what it looks like. When probiotics are freeze-dried, it takes all of the moisture out of their bodies, making them dormant until humidity and moisture are added back to reactivate them. It pretty much looked the same besides the small clumps of yogurt in view and a lot larger concentration of the bacteria. As always, I hope you enjoyed this video, comment down below what you'd like to see next, and thanks for watching.